Okay, here you can see the difference. This is unvaccinated blood. All the blood is nice and round. It flows. It isn't stuck together, which means that the pH in this blood is really good and very nice. Um, this looks so much different than uh, the blood. Then we go in. Uh, as you can see, this plasma looks clean. And even though we are now talking about someone who has an active infection, that's why this person uh, came to me. Even though we see that we have beautifully clean blood, it is flowing, the, uh, uh, it, it just looks completely different. And as you can also see that the white blood cells, and I will point them out to you, I found them uh, here, that the really big, lumpy things are white blood cells um, you can see them in the upper corner but here you can see the difference in the blood the blood is beautiful the plasma is relatively clean this is a white blood cell you see that this one's much bigger than the last one this one's also moving the other one weren't uh, so that means that this uh, immune system is active and working this is vaccinated blood. As you can see, all the blood is stuck together. You see that the blood cells look really strange. They have these really weird shapes. You see all these black lines. Those are the fibrins. Those cause the blood clots. This is the reason why so many people are having strokes and heart attacks. Uh, that little round thing that has this different color that is uh, a white blood cell that is supposed to be four to th uh, three times as large here too. They're absolutely tiny, uh, which is really bad because that means that your immune system is compromised. And as you can see, you've got all these fibrins everywhere. This blood doesn't look healthy at all. And... Uh, uh, this is just somebody who had two shots. This isn't. This person was here. She wanted to get a booster shot and decided not to do it because this is what her blood looks like. And if you really am honest, and you don't need to have uh, a PhD to see that this doesn't look normal at all. Uh, look at all the bacteria in here. All these lines. These are all. Uh, fibrins that make blood clots. This is the same sample and here you can really see the damage that it's doing and what is most important is what you will see is and this is what I'm a bit scared about. Uh, you see these round weird things that are bobbing about those are all and this is what scares me the most. You see all these weird things moving about. These are bacterium and these are different parasites and bacterium. Now, normally, when you look at blood, you have a few of those. Uh, this is what I keep seeing in all the vaccinated blood. Their blood is absolutely, the plasma is full and I mean full of bacteria and parasites in, in numbers that I have never seen before. As you can see here, it is crawling. And normally you will have just one infection or maybe two, but here I can identify at least five to eight different uh, kinds of bacteriums, uh, parasites, and this really is hardcore. This means that the immune system uh, is so overwhelmed that if, yeah, if you've got to clean this, you will not have any time to clean up cancer cells. You will not have any time for all this other stuff. Look at this. It is everywhere. This blood is crawling with so many uh, bacteria and parasites. This is absolutely not normal. This isn't supposed to be this way. Normally the plasma is clean, but as you can see, this is absolutely crawling with all sorts of horribleness. 
this is not good. If you've got this inside your body, it's a ticking time bomb.